chaos at the top of the tech world. The company OpenAI, one of the top players in artificial intelligence, thrown into disarray. Today, more than 500 OpenAI employees sent a letter to the company's board, threatening to quit over the board's abrupt firing of OpenAI's popular CEO, Sam Altman. They might have had disagreements, but this is not how to run one of the most important companies of the AI age, at least. Since his ouster on Friday, Altman has been hired by Microsoft, which was OpenAI's biggest investor, to run Microsoft's artificial intelligence division, a shakeup that leaves OpenAI's future in doubt. It was valued at $80 billion, and this is something the employees have now lost, um, you know, in, in that regard. It's the leading uh, AI company. A company that created ChatGPT, a program that can draft a letter, write a novel, or generate answers to questions by drawing on millions of previous examples. Why was Altman fired by OpenAI's board? Industry watchers say it was a split between his vision for the future of artificial intelligence and the board's. Those divisions were raging within OpenAI. Some people saw this incredibly valuable product and wanted to push forward. Others were more cautious, saying that they had to uh, you know, be responsible for humanity. And Altman sometimes seemed to straddle both camps. Analysts say inside OpenAI, some board members viewed him as too aggressive, wanting to market artificial intelligence and push it forward. But he also told Congress earlier this year about the dangers of AI. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. We are quite concerned about the impact this can have on elections. The potential for AI to create misinformation, like fabricated comments from candidates or fake news reports, is a huge concern going into 2024. Other worries? Potentially job loss and, and uh, you know, people being displaced from the economy. Over the long term, however, I think there are a lot of people in the AI industry in particular who are concerned about the rise of what's called artificial general intelligence. You know, these kind of doomsday scenarios where, you know, an AI takes over the world. But analysts say that's balanced against the potentially positive things that AI can do, like helping to address climate change and improving our health. What artificial intelligence does is find patterns. And, you know, a technology that's very good at finding patterns can help you know, do things like diagnose diseases or develop vaccines. Is the federal government ready to regulate artificial intelligence and can it? Analyst Brian Fung says there is a strong desire among leaders of Congress to regulate AI, but he says they're not sure which rules to write for it yet because they're still learning so much about it.